Hello, Sean here once again with your entertainment news roundup. It is Friday, oh yeah. Uh, that means we got a box office preview later on in the show. We got a lot of shit to talk about. CinemaCon has ended, which brought a lot of news, and we have some more news with some big. We have some uh, updates on some big projects from some big people. Let's go right into it. Let's go right into the news here. As I said, big people have been talking about it. The hot, big Fox hot show Tom Rothman was talking. He said, uh, right, Ridley Scott's uh, Prometheus will not be compromised no matter what the rating is. So it means they're not going to cut it. So that means Reader Art, Alien Movie, that's going to be awesome. Fucking awesome right there. He also went on to talk about, uh, X he went on to talk about Fantastic Four, S in First Class follow-up, and uh, Daredevil. He said David, Sl David Slade is still writing it, so that denies the rumors that it was, it was, it's dead. It's still being done. Also, they are shooting the uh, Wolverine in Japan too, and they have still yet decided to they want to. They have not yet decided they want to shoot in 3D. I say no 3D. They're gonna shoot a part in Japan, part in Australia. I'm really excited for the Wolverine movie. It's gonna be awesome. Hugh Jackman back into it will be a lot better than the first one. It's to be totally different, totally, totally different animal right there. And also expects the X Men First Class sequel to be shot this January for at least either Christmas next year or summer 2014. I say summer 2014 because that gives them more time than the rush schedule they had last time when they had to shoot it and boom, it came out next summer. They had to shoot it in June and it came out boom next summer. So you only had like eight, six months to shoot it. That was crazy. Another big hot show. Kevin Feig, the big uh, head guy from Marvel, he also he, he said that Robert Downey Jr. could replace him in Bond style on future movies. Interesting. This replace, give him Iron Man Iron out. Make sure he shot off a big guy. Because Robert Downey Jr. is a really big part of Avengers selling all the money, big, making all the money and stuff. He's a big name actor that's really was launched his career. But I don't see Rob Downey Jr. leaving for the next 10 years. I see him, he's contracted for all next weeks. This won't happen until like 2020, until like Iron Man 4. He's going to do Iron Man 3, he's going to do the Avengers 2, then after that, we'll see what happens. But wait till the Avengers 2, then we'll see who's going to replace this Iron Man. Let's see. And Adam McKay is saying that, uh, I mean, Adam McKay is going to have an Uptown Saturday Night remake with Will Smith and Denzel Washington. This movie has been developed for years. It's a remake of the 1974 film. Not really, not really a uh, very. The film is a revamp of the 1974 Bill Cosby and Cindy Portney's uh, comedy about two pals who head uptown to track down the crooks who stole their winning win lottery ticket. That sounds pretty funny. The Will Smith doesn't watch it. No word on how it'll be updated, but Will Smith doesn't watch it. I'm excited. Adam McKay. That'd be good. Also, Josh Gad is joining uh, Aston Kutcher and uh, Steve Jobs' biopic. Josh Gad, yeah, a great guy to play Steve Wazowski, you know, fit him from uh, 21, Love and Ever Drugs. He's most, mostly for, he's in Book of Mormon, he's a good writer, too. He's, not, he's not a writer, but anyway. So, yeah, this sounds pretty good. Josh Gad's Kutcher in this indie film. So, I think this could be a good Oscar, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. I, I, this could be, might be an Oscar movie, I think. Sorry, I just, I, I blocked out for a minute. Could be a good Oscar movie. Also, James Dwan 24, they said, might be set for a 2014 release. So that so with Skyfall coming out this November, that will give only a year between. We've had four years since the last season one. That was only because MG has money problems. So, and they did the first Skyfall trailer was screened at CinemaCon. It looked very awesome, I heard. So expect the trailer to be released with every other trailer and Avengers. We had Dark Knight release Avengers, a new Dark Knight trailer, a new Spider-Man trailer, and probably James Bond trailer. So, obviously, the Avengers next week, which is awesome. It is final. It's let's see. The Avengers has outsold every uh, Super movie by 180%. That is fucking crazy. It's selling 3,999% more tickets to Captain America. 1,000. Well, they're selling more, more tickets than any Super movie ever. It's been a gross range of 162 million or more. Or more than 200 million dollars. Damn. Let's see how Dark Knight Rises can beat this. I think Avengers going to set the toll. It just seems like it's really big. Oh, also. Let me go backtrack a little bit. Sorry, I did the first take, so if things get messed up, I am sorry. It's all a freestyling. I had to laugh some notes, just headlines, but I go randomly talk about shit. Just sit here randomly listen to me ramble on about my entertainment news. Thank you for always watching my shows, and thank you for sticking with me and not giving me rude comments. Let me go back. Bond 24 marks the first optional film in, in Greg's original Bondo. So this means uh, Jesus Bond 24 might not be with uh, Dana Craig. Will he, will he, uh, He's yet to publicly disclose the desire to hang up his big agent. But, but I've heard he wants to break Sean Connery's record, so that would mean two more films. I think two more films with Dan Craig. He doesn't really have much to do 
With the draw strategy to flop, that, does, that, it, that gives him a lot of open time with no sequel to that. If there was a sequel to that, I could say he leaves, but he's not by himself. He's not good as an actor. James Bond is his only way to make money, and I say he keeps to this. Also, at CinemaCon, Rise of the Planet sequel is going to be out. They finally, it's a go. We don't know that it'll be, it's already set for, uh, what, let's see. They can either put it out fall or holiday. We'll see where they put it out. It'll be coming next year, but they haven't confirmed that the director Rob Ryder will be back, but I can't wait for this movie, and the circus is already signed for a sequel. So, uh, this will be awesome. Can't wait for Rise of the Planet 2. That was one of the best movies of last year, I think. Never good news. Uh, Todd Phillips Green Knight Films is set Mark and Jay Duplass who make, uh, made some good movies lately. Great, great, great comedy too. I got that mule. And now about a young couple's unexpected entry in the world of muling marijuana across the country to try out a living during the recession. This is weird. Todd Phillips, weird, Todd Phillips style and, and the Duplass River style together? That could be interesting. That could be very interesting. And you know me, I always love a good marijuana movie. Good stuff, movie. And with uh, the Carrie remake uh, going going full circle coming out next year, MGM is looking at another uh, uh, horror remake. Poltergeist reboot. Never really saw the original. Wasn't really into all those scary horror movies. They're looking at Sam Raimi. I think his style worked perfectly for Poltergeist. He'll be the perfect guy to remake Poltergeist. If there's someone to remake Poltergeist, I see Sam Raimi doing it. Uh, and the this is 40 trailer to count today with a uh, far it's a sort of sequel knocked up. Kind of funny moments. I'm not really excited for this movie. Paul Rudd, I love Paul Rudd, so I'm gonna go see it. But the trailer didn't get me excited at all. Paul and Debbie, and Paul, Debbie turns 40, and she wants to do all these things. Oh, and Hillary needs to use. Didn't really make me laugh much. And also, Theater's Day is The Raven, Safe, The Fiber Engagement, The Pirate Banner. This is pretty good things. It's the it's the calm for the storm. Let's see if any of these movies can go up. I see The Fiber Engagement might be. Up there, number one. I see the Fiber Engagement or the Raven uh, top of the box office. Those two have good odds. Jason Siegel has the and Jason Siegel has the, has the star power to, to promote the Fiber Engagement up to number one status. I know he did do that with Jeff Lewis at, at home, but they didn't have a good campaign for this movie. And the Ra Raven trailer looked pretty funny. And I don't think the Raven's going to do good. That movie looks crazy. We'll see how this does. Might be another Wolfman where it looks cool, but no one goes to see, no goes to see it. Safe and getting bad reviews. And the Pirates Band of that can surprise people. I love Chicken Run, and this will be a surprise well. And off the TV news. And, and then news that can confirm that Ryan Seacrest is indeed a robot. He is ready to deal with MC Versa. That means he'll be, he'll be on E more, and he'll be, in, uh, he'll be more, he'll be his day correspondent. Today correspondent, radio host, every guy to host, everything. Oh my god, is he a fucking robot? He's, and he produces Kim Kardashians. Stars the Sunset, every fucking show, every hour show, he's a fucking robot. He's gonna fucking take over the fucking world. Let's do it. Ryan Seacrest is a robot. Oh, uh, that's probably the stupidest thing in the history of the Charm Sense right there. And one of my favorite shows, The Glades returns for third season, June 3rd. And after that will be the Katie Sackhoff, you know, Starbuck. Her, her uh, crying show, Long More Meyer. It's a contemporary contour. It's based on Rock Horns Mr. Dread novels. She's joined Robert Taylor and Rock Lou Diamond Phillips. Sounds like a cool show. We'll see how that does. Also, Will Ferrell will be turning to 30, 30, uh, Studio EH on May 12th to host Sarah Line for the first time since 09. The Larry and Let's see if he brings the Ron Burgundy character back. And Chloe Savinji from Big Love is going to have a big role in the next uh, American, American uh, Horror Story season. He's going to play the Nemesis Edition Lane's character, so I'm not really into the show tomorrow. I'll see how it goes. The second season of the show is set in a different era than the present day. An institution for the criminally run scene run by just going. The writer's party wrote the role for Shelly with set vision obsession in mind. She's coming from HBO. Now this, we'll see how it does. Now, when's some new one who, for all your sci-fi fans, you are excited. You're jumping over down yesterday. The geeks were excited. Everybody was excited. Twitter was blowing up. It finally is. Fox has a new defense for a fifth and final chapter, which will put friends over 500 episodes when my third episode were ordered. I'm pretty sure Fox, uh, Dick Warner Brothers lowered their cost for this, this, uh, this season because it was kind of getting high. And I'm glad for the fans. I'm a fan of the show. I've watched it. I've watched four seasons of it. I need to catch up on this season. I'm a little behind, but I'm glad that the fans are going to have an ending. I love this. And the fans that won't have an ending is Make It Break has been canceled. So all you teen girls and pedophiles, no more gymnastic girls and tight, tight clothes. 
He won't return after season three. And for all your fan gesture fans or any anybody that are happily divorced fans, it's renewed for third season. It's not like uh, TV Land or new fucking anything. They're renewed any goddamn show with low ratings. Their shows are so fucking bad. It's just see now old women that watch them. Fuck. Okay. Now, if you have sat through this whole episode, make sure to leave a like. If you sat through this whole episode and watched me and enjoyed my show, make sure to like this video. And if you dislike it, please tell me why. Make sure to subscribe up there. And the camera reporter, I know you viewed the whole thing, so thumbs up to you. And I hope to see you here on the Sean's Two Cents. Yes, I have a special announcement right here, right now. Sitting in this chair here will be camera reporter May. 24th, yes, we well, booked a special guest, you know me, you've seen Cam on Norman's show, but he is coming to my show sooner or later, he's going to talk some bullshit, we're going to get stoned, we're going to talk about some bunch of bullshit, so look forward to that, I'm looking forward to it, I'm so excited, I do a spin in the chair here, a spin in the chair here, okay, I'm going to go back and watch Lost Girl, the rest of the season, check it out on Sci-Fi, I downloaded it from Canada, so I got it all for, all for you. So if you're watching it on in uh, America, I'm watching. I'm almost at the end of the season, bitches. Oh yeah, it just started second season right here. So make sure to like the video. I don't know what I'm doing. Like the video. Oh, I'm just off the camera now. Bye, motherfuckers.